Testing, testing, are we on? Are we ready? Let's do it. Everyone's e-banging the shit. Everyone's Google Lens as well, I'm going. You don't like the Google Lens? Oh, yeah. Never seen it like this. Is it genuine? It looks it. Oh. Sorry, I'll let you take your photo. 20 on it. Is there an inside tag? 2007. Nothing inside. Hard to say. I'm with you on that one, hundred percent. Yeah. Twenty though. Not bad. Those jer all-star jerseys were pretty cool. He wanted twenty on them, but we don't know if it's genuine. Should we dare dabble with shoes? I don't know. Morning, mate. How you doing? Buddy. How's things? Good mate, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. So these are five from that side of it, and these are the $10 ones. $10 ones here. Yeah, okay. I might swing back through in a little bit. Yeah, mate. But uh, I might grab a couple. Oops, sorry, sorry mate. Oh, I'll grab that one. Yeah, bro. How much on the DVDs? $2.50. 258. If you buy more, I'll give you a discount. Bit of a bundle. Industrial tyres. Nah, you go for it. Snap on racing. Um, what else have we got under here? Stunt man. Yeah, yeah, we should. There's a bunch of um, games here. Oh. How much on the tub? It's gone, mate. Oh, yeah, jeez. Oh, you... like 50 bucks they bought it for. Oh, 50 bucks, that's a but steal. The wasn't there. That, you've already put that in there. Just the games are 50. Okay. Yeah. No Stay stress. I know, oh, no. you've got to be quick out of here, don't you? What's that 701 he got in? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, he was already, oh, he's a seller, is he? Sneaky. Uh, all right, mate, I've got all that there. So what have we got? 10. Just go 10, mate. 10 on that? Done. Thanks, mate. All right, we got a little bit of a strike here. We'll explain that in a little bit. For 10 bucks. Oh, you did get some games early. Tell me what you think of that. What, what stands out, first of all? Well, I like Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, I like Wii Sports Resort. I love Simpsons Hit and Run. Hey, what, oh, but I even love... What about that? A double Simpsons Hit and Run. <laughs> Matty. And and look, like... Look at this, though. you got Futurama, too. Yeah, look. Need to Speed, Need Master speed. Universe, Metal Gear Solid. Did you just buy them all, or did you just... Dollar, um, dollar, dollar, dollar. 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 Matty. Right. Well done, mate. We just saw a tub up there for $50, and he's like, it's already sold, mate. Someone oh, came in you know, as damn. a seller. So yeah, that's how I came in. I, th I think I, I might have cameras off. <laughs> you got dual. Actually, you got dual cameras. What do you actually, want to say? Okay, let me let me let me tell you, mother. Because watching this shit for free. <laughs> subscribe. All right. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Help a brother out. He's your friend. He's my friend. Just do it one time. You're right. getting better at this. Those shoes are. These shoes are great. They're a little worn. But these. Hello, Hello sir. How are you? Three dollars. Three dollars? Yeah. Alright, I'll take a couple off you. Okay. I'll go those, those, those. Yeah, anything you like. Anything I like. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Three, six, nine, twelve Boy. bucks. Easy. Nice. Nice brax. There you go. You know get two dollars. I do have a two. Yeah. There you go. I'm sick. Well, stay clear. Gracias. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Gracias. Where are you, where are you from? Uruguay. Really? Uruguay? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How long have you been in Australia? 51 years. 51 years? Yeah, I go 51. So I you're not going home anytime soon, huh? 53 years now. Really? That's awesome. <laughs>
Well, you got some good shoes, so I thank you very younger. much. <laughs> You're a spring chicken. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Three dollars, Kate. I know I'm umming and ahhing about um, shoes, but you can't say no. Gorby. I don't know. He hit his head all right. $55. He must be someone special we don't know about. All right. How you doing, mate? Good, how are you? Yeah, really well. Jumanji. What are these three? And the Rick and Mortys. And we'll do that one. So what's that, eight? Yep. Easy. Amazing. Thank you, sir. Oops. You're very welcome. Thank you, mate. Yes. All right. Throw it down in there. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Um, I actually went over there for the um, for the Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> really big Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. So it could have gone for a lot. Yep, it's the only one she took. Killed me. How are we doing? Yeah, alright. Be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah. Well, you haven't had many sales. How much on the big mash one? Um, maybe not one. I saw your video, so I thought I'd pick it up. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let me see what's going for. Did the windscreen wipe or something? But, Damn. Yeah. Um, Who's at fault? Oh, uh, maybe, but hit and run, they're still looking for him. Yeah, right. So I had to have a week off work, and they're moving the palmy as I was telling you. Yeah, about, so yeah, so yeah. It's all happening. Damn, man, that's full on. Oh, hey, no, no stress at all. I'll definitely do it this way, bro. We, gonna, we can do it whenever. Yeah. As you can see, some of the Simpsons has already come. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. So much more, I feel like you got a lot back at home, eh? I can't take the room. Only touching the surface. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> right, we can have a talk about that during the week. Yeah, for sure, mate. Um, but I'll have a look at Mash. Mash was a good one, though. Hi, Mr. Matt. How are you, mate? Hello, mate. How are you doing? Remember I met you long time. Yes, I do. How are you? Good, man. Good, man. That's the way. This is Kate, my girlfriend. Oh, Kate. Craig, Craig, yeah. Um, how's things? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah? Just came out for the weekend. We had a friend up. He's been a bit sick. Yeah, right. One okay. One old bosses, yeah, from many years ago. Okay. So we're just coming for the weekend. We drove up yesterday. Drive, yeah. out, drive out tomorrow. I think you got the best flea market of the year today. <laughs> yeah. We're packed to the back and packed, there's a lot of people around. My missus around somewhere. She's, I've just left her. This is her stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nice. You find a couple of things then. Yeah, just for her, That's yeah, good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm sort of selling it on and off a bit. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Keeping it as a hobby. Yeah. Nice. Just lost my job, so maybe I'm gonna make it full time. Well, yeah. Lost my job two weeks ago. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Well, see, this is the thing. When those situations happen, this yeah. is something you can fall so back to. So this might be a fall back to now. Just yeah. Doing this full, you know. yeah. I've been following you for years and years. Yeah. I just, I just don't years, like yeah. if I get that lull that you yeah. speak of, I just keep punching through it. Yeah. Um, and then it picks back up again. I like your motivation. Man. At least you keep. Positive full time, you keep going and going and going. You have to. Yeah. If you don't, you'll um, you'll run I'm away from it. You're the only guy I really follow now. I don't follow most of them. Oh, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I appreciate I've it. I follow you for years and years and years. That's awesome. Years, yeah. Well, this is the flea market, mate. I'm sure you've watched a few of these videos down here, right? Mate, I've seen you many times. <laughs> this way, this was me, Mr. said, we've got to go up and see our friends. I said, only if we come here. <laughs> only if we come to the flea. We don't come here, we don't do it. Hey, for good reason, too. Yeah, that's right. Great to see you. Nice to meet you, Kate. Unreal. Thanks. We'll Thanks. see you, you soon. See you guys. Oh, that's a nice Foster's bag. See, this sort of stuff does quite well. Zips work. How much on the bag, mate? Tenner? I'll do that, mate. No Thanks, mate. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Should we or shouldn't we? 
They do. Alas. Bomber's hat's kind of cool. Oh, this is cool. He's got 15. Golden Tataku. GameStop EV Games. Crash Bandicoot. Ten dollars on an iPhone five. I think we'll have to do that. It's pretty, pretty shattered, but it's got its original box. You'd be surprised for parts. And then Tom Gates, brand new. That one. Twenty on that one. All right. How much on them individually? Two dollars each, mate. Two dollars each. I've got a couple of things, mate. I'll go to the phone, um, the books, and I've got three hats there. Just call it 30, mate, the hats are free. Easy. Done. Thanks, mate. Yeah, they are. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. All the best. What are those shoes? Oh. How much on these? Let's let's do it. Can't stop myself today. There you go. I've never I've never bought so much down here before. Yeah, sometimes we can hit um, hit gold. Well, today's the day. I like your boots. You wouldn't sell me those, would you? Oh, no, I'm kidding. No way. I'm kidding. <laughs> they are lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. No stress. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, we. Oh, thank you, mate. You're a star. Thank you. Look at that. Just gave us one for free. Um, Sorry, bro. You're mate. Probably the third party leader in like. Uh, cool shoes. Those seem pretty reasonable. Yeah. Really I've cool had a shoes. Long time I've upgraded. I've got like little 26 at home. So. Too, too many of them. Yeah. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, yeah. Yeah, well. You just, and then you just turn it on, um, charge it, and then just sync it. Oh. Yes, correct. To whichever console that you need to sync up to. Yeah. Want to give me one of those items where you just think about it and you know it's going to go, you come back and you know it's gone. Because then you can play like fighting games with it. Yeah. Correct, that's what I used to do. I used to be fighting games professionally, so I had a lot of sticks there every single console yeah. and stuff like that. The Marvel Capcom's coming out? Yes, I got that the other day, so I've been uh, playing that online. On physical or? or? Not physical, yeah, I got like, a digital. Because yeah. I wanted to play it now and I'll get the physical yeah. later when it comes yeah. out. I know you're a shoe guy, so do you want to deal on the shoes for the lot? I, I don't know, because I'm umming and ahhing about my shoes. Are you? Yeah, okay, okay. as a category. Yeah, right. Just too much? Like, they, they've dropped for me. Yeah, okay. Heavily dropped. And maybe I'm not putting enough time and attention into them. Yeah, for um, sure. So I'm thinking whether or not to just... You're also too finding them as well as at a high price now these days. Yeah. So I think the margins on them are a lot smaller. A I, yeah, which I mean, and I know, because I, I know what you do, so like if you wanted the lot, yep. let me know. What were you thinking on the lot? Uh, well, $150. One fifty. Uh, these are bronze too, are they? Yes, they are. I haven't seen them before. So they were his casual set that he brought out a long time ago. So it was the 11 range, 10 or 11 range. Okay. I forget it's been a little while now. It was that 2012 when those came out? Yeah, right. And they're the 13s. The 13s. Yeah, and that's a size 13 as well. Is it? They're a bit smaller. Okay. Because I'm a size 12 naturally, and you... it's just... Gotcha. You know. Oh, it's super tempting, mate. See what you think if you want to come back, you know, I'm here. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Very cool shoes.
150. He knows I sell them. He knows what I do. Um, I just don't know if I should do 150 for those shoes. Yeah. He's a shoe guy, and he's got them for $40 each. So he's probably got them up. I think it's like maybe 250 or 300, and he said he'd do them all for 150. Um, I'd need to. The, I really like the look of the Reeboks. Actually, there were some old Reeboks ones. Good day, mate. Howdy. How you doing? Mate, I got a lot. I've got a lot today. Yeah. How much on? Special five bucks for that. Five for that. Yeah. Geez, that's good. Hey, surely these guys go okay? Surely. That's a 1998. How much on this one, sir? 15? Okay. Was he? That's my lucky day. This has been hit through, bro, so... Hey. But a dusty Spider-Man? Where Dude, do you reckon that's from? He's a 98 McFarlane Toys. What is he though? I got no idea. Oh, Spawn. Is that Spawn? That's Spawn. Yeah, that's one of the baddies from Spawn. He wants 15 on it. Vintage toys. I'm not very knowledgeable, but I think I'm going to do a lucky dip on this guy. And I think I'm going to go on this guy as well, because he's in a box. And who doesn't love Dragon Ball Z? Am I right? Yeah, oh, you've got um, 15 and 5. Would yeah. you go 15 all up? Little, no? little oh. Otherwise, I'd be giving something away. Because if I get 25 for that in a minute, just off him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll everyone's e the shit and everyone's Google Lensing it as well. I'm going. Oh, you, go. <laughs> you don't like the Google Lens? Oh, yeah. I love Google Lens. I just can't look at everything at once. I, I am but one and have one but. Yeah, gotcha. All right. All good. We'll go 20. Oh, uh, well. special announcement. Thank you for being at this point of the video because we have a new helper. Courtney's obviously left and I've thought long and hard about what to do next and I've got a really, really good candidate. It's not Matt. We spoke about Matt that delivered the letter. Sorry, Matt, but it's not you. It's behind this door. I'll show you now. The big reveal of my new helper. Perry. Hey Perry. So this is Kate's dog, my girlfriend Kate's dog, Perry. He's over here quite a bit these days and he has been a massive help to this eBay business in just the last few days of doing this. So he came in a couple of days ago, he's already felt at home and I figure he may as well just hang around and keep, keep helping out. So you'll start to see a lot more of Perry in these videos. I thought I'd just introduce him. I figured Courtney leaving, good time to introduce Perry and uh, yeah, he actually doesn't mind being on camera either, which is a good thing too. I'm still in my head about those shoes. I really think we should have bought them. But we are still slowly trying to work on what we do with these shoes, so I suppose it's probably a good thing to just, just let it be for now. There's always going to be another buy down the line. We don't need to just rush at it and buy what's in front of us. So I'm not, it's not the end of the world, but some of those shoes were pretty good. Um, I'll give you a quick look at our numbers, guys, for what is uh, the month of September. We are in a position where we're on $8,476 and we're 25 days now uh, into the month. So what that means is we're, gonna, we're on track to average 10170 and we want to do 11000 So we're going to have to do five $500 days to hit 11000 And $500 for us on a day is a really, really good day. Um, so I think we're going to fall somewhere around $10,500 in revenue this month. And without Courtney... I think that's actually fairly good. If we can keep it between 10 and 11K every single month without having to pay Courtney, that'd be incredible. So we'll see how that goes. We wanna finish the month off strong. We've got a good amount of stock coming in tomorrow. I'm doing a big private pick tomorrow. I may turn the camera on. Let me know if you want me to turn the camera on and film the private pick. I haven't done one of those in a really long time, so let me know if that's something you wanna see. But what we're gonna do for the rest of this video is I've got 12, 12 sales that we're putting into the mailbag today. 
uh, and I want to take you through them from the cheapest to the most expensive. And the first one that I've got for you is here. We have Theme Park World on the PlayStation 1 right there. Now this one is definitely a pretty wrecked case. Um, there's a lot of marks and blemishes on this. Uh, the game itself, see how that just pops right off. As long as you're taking photos of that and really clearly documenting that, you shouldn't have a worry. I would price your item up slightly less. The disc is actually in pretty damn good condition. There's not a lot of scratches on that. Um, so it's just a dodgy case. But what often happens is collectors out there have their own spare cases. Um, so if I get a dodgy case on a game like a PS1, I'm actually not really too concerned. I'm not going to devalue the item too heavily in my listing. Um, but that there sold for $18.95. So it was already a pretty cheap game anyway. Um, and it's also the classics version as well. So it's not an original, it's just a classics version, which is always a little bit less as well. So um, that one will ship off in a box, but it'll only cost us $8.50. So it means this game is only a $10 sale, hence why it's our cheapest of the day. Now, tub number 62 is our next one, which is a DVD tub. We have a DVD that I like to find when I'm out thrifting because it is a complete series set, but it's only in a very small single DVD case, which is great for shipment because it's only gonna cost us $6.50 to send off. Um, this is American Gothic, and it was the complete series there, as you can see, which is why it initially caught my eye. Um, we would have only paid a couple of dollars for this, and we got a $22.95 sale price. So $22.95, $6.50 envelope, that'll make us some pretty decent money off a cheap purchase price. Always look out for your complete series. Our best sale of the day is worth over $200. It's a pretty good sale. Hang around for that. Uh, but this next one sold for $25. This here is a five season set of the TV show Angel. I'm not 100% sure if season five is the complete one. Um, I don't know if there's more seasons to this TV show. But regardless, $25 sale price, very much a bread and butter. If it went to six seasons, it would be a little less in profit because we have to put it into a medium satchel. Um, so I'm really happy that this sold for 25 in a small satchel. It's like, like any other, it's gonna cost us $8.50 to ship off. But um, this is the, well, the second, because we had American Gothic, the second DVD sale in the DVD category, but there are a couple more coming today. It's just a very, very good category to try and sell. Now, as you can see, I'm dressed in different clothing. It's not Sunday. Um, and as you would have seen probably by the whiteboard, it's Thursday morning that we're filming this What Sold. Um, so we have jumped a few days, which is good because it's allowed us to see a sale come through from what we picked up in this video at the flea market. This was a Sunday morning purchase. You guys literally just watched it. Um, I think I paid $20 all up for an action figure and this guy. Um, I think it was, yeah, there he is, that guy. So he hasn't sold yet, but we bought both of these, as you saw. Um, we got a $28 sale price for that one. It wasn't too crash hot. It wasn't too you know, crazy worth of a, a sale. It's the Series 11 edition, um, 2000, year 2000. So vintage Dragon Ball Z. Could I have maybe got a few more dollars for it? Probably because it sold so quickly, yes. Uh, but $28, it's a good way to get almost my money back, which means that little do that little action figure, whoever he is, um, is going to be pure profit. So to get this one shipped, which might be, you're thinking probably, how do you get an awkward shape like that shipped off? Um, we've got some boxes from Bunnings, our local timber and hardware store down here. And I thought these shaped boxes were going to be pretty much perfect. Um, so we're going to do a lot of bubble wrap. We're going to put a lot of butcher's paper, but look at this. Something like that might fit perfectly. And if you're unsure, we just went ahead with a random stab in the dark. You can take this item in to Bunnings and just throw it into the right box. So I think this one will be absolutely perfect once we do bubble wrap and butcher's paper. Um, so that's how you ship that sort of an item off. And it should work out, I'm hoping, to a small satchel rate of $8.50, um, which is, if it is the case, it means that this thing is sold for $19.50, um, which isn't too bad when we paid $10. I'm gonna profit on the other guy. Now, you guys may have remembered a couple of weeks ago, um, my friend Fabs came out and did some searching for profit out at the flea market with me. It was a bit of an educational video around a newbie versus somebody that's done it for a while. I've been doing it for four years. Fabs has been doing it for one day. Um, but he was able to find this, which was a set of five of the TV show Saw. Um, this was only five bucks in the, three, uh, sorry, in the flea. Um, Fabs didn't have to even negotiate the dollar 
a disc or the dollar a DVD was the price and he just went ahead and took the deal. Um, we were able to sell this for $30. So Fabs has had a pretty good turnaround, five into 30, very much bread and butter. What I will say about this saw bundle is if we had saw six and saw seven, uh, we could have listed this up for $50. Now I listed it up as one to five, but I always knew in the back of my mind, if we found six and seven, we could just manipulate the listing to either 40 or $50, depending on what other DVDs we found. Um, but before we even found them, this is already sold for $30, which is why it's so important to just list up what you have. Um, and that way, sometimes you don't even have to find the rest to complete a set. Now this is our second and final video game out of our lot today. Um, this is Garfield Kart Furious Racing on the PlayStation 4. It is brand new and sealed, uh, which does always help the situation, brand new and sealed. It's got a $24 price tag on it, probably from someone like Big W or something like that. Um, but we were able to pick this up in a video game lot where we only paid a couple of dollars for it, and we got a $30 sale price as well. So I think this one actually took about a couple of months to sell. It might have been three to four months, so it did take a while. Um, but we did get a $30 sale price, which is some significant profit when we're only buying it for $2. That's going into a medium tracked post envelope for $6.50. Now, I'm not really doing clothing so much anymore. As you guys know, I've sort of juggled of whether or not to go around the clothing, and I think I'm just going to stick with the sports gear. Um, so these jeans are one of the last set of G-Star jeans that we're probably going to be listing up. These are the Attic Straits. Um, not the best of size. They're a 30 waist and a 32 in length. Um, pair of men's jeans, but the G-Star brand is a good one whenever I've sold my denim. Um, so I definitely think if you're into your clothing, one, you're probably already finding it, um, but two, if you're just getting started with selling on eBay and you want to do clothing, I think you can focus on G-Star. Um, the best thing about this sale is that one, it sold for $35, which wasn't too bad because we bought it for $8 in a thrift store. Um, but secondly, it is two kilometers away from home. So I'm probably going to drop this one off personally. Uh, which I don't think is a concern. I always like to take a photo just out the front of their property in, ca in case they want to say anything about it not being delivered by Australia Post, um, just as a bit of backup. Um, but that'll save me $8.50, which means we get the full price of $35 for this one. Um, so buying it for eight, that's 27 take fees of five. It's about $22 in profit, which I think is pretty good. And this one here isn't too bad of a sale. The sell-through rate on this was just a few weeks, maybe three to four weeks, top, top end probably a month. I'd have to double check. Um, it's the Sookie Stackhouse novel series. Um, so Charlene Harris, or Charlene Harris. It's a, um, it's a complete series set there. We are gonna have to put it into one of these boxes. I think this one should be perfect. I'm just gonna cut it down, um, but I think that box, yeah, that'll be 100% fine. Um, we got a $40 sale price for this one here. I think we paid $10 from memory in a thrift, and I think it's gonna cost us about $12 to ship. Um, so that's 22 bucks. We sold it for 40, take fees of six. Um, so it's about $12 in profit. So we buy it for 10, we make $12. Big book sets like this, where they can sort of complete series sets like this, um, especially with their slip case as well, I've come to notice sell better than just having a loose stack. Um, so yeah, in its bookcase, I reckon, I reckon this is one to definitely look for every single time for $10. 10 to make 12. Any, any time you double your money, I think that's a great thing. So good sell-through rate, less than 30 days, and a decent profit doubling our money. NYPD Blue. NYPD Blue on DVD. Now, I've got, I've got complete seasons one to four here, but I swear that's a TV show that's got more seasons in it. Um, regardless, we ended up selling this for... $40. So a $40 sale price for four DVDs. When you play with TV shows, on average, you can roughly estimate about $10 per season. Um, so that's why you see things like um, Grey's Anatomy going for $180 for 18 seasons. $10 a season is roughly what you're going to get. And that's what we got here. 40 bucks, NYPD Blue. It's not always the case, but it's just a rough estimate. Um, so we would have paid about $8 at $2 per season. Um, so that's a really good turnaround, putting it into a small satchel with some bubble wrap. Nice and easy, and yet another DVD that's been able to come through. And here's another example of that. Four seasons of the TV show, Rain. Um, so this one here sold for $45. Uh, again, four seasons, small satchel, not a very fast sell through. Oh, sorry, it was a very fast sell through rate on that one. Um, so what's that? We've got five different DVD bundles there, and I'm gonna add another one to it right here, number six. Um, this is Sons of Anarchy. Seven seasons. Have a guess how much that sold for. 70. 70 bucks. $70 for Sons of Anarchy, working off that $10 per season price point. So there's six 
out of 12, half of our sales are coming in those sets of DVDs and they're turning around for really good money because we're getting them cheap and we're selling them for a great profit. So if you wanna get into a category for just starting out on eBay, DVDs are actually this year our second best selling category. This is our best one right here, video games. We get about 30% of our sales in this one. So we've made it to number one and I've got this little bundle here of rare, I guess, yeah, they are rare, vintage Pokemon cards. It's a category that I've sold a lot of over the journey. Um, this actually came from a large collection that I bought when I was in America. So they've come from the US, um, but I'll lay them out here for you to have a bit of a look at. It was a Pokemon store. If you want to zoom in on these, Kate. It was a Pokemon store that ended up buying these on eBay. Um, so you've got a light wiggly tuff there. That's a first edition. Um, the year is early vintage, 95 to 2000. They were all vintage cards, except for this one here. It's a 25th anniversary. But then there's an old school golem. There's a hounder. I think that's how you say his name. And then this one's a shadowless Charmander. There's no shadow there on that right hand side. And as you'll see here with these same cards, there is a shadow. Very clear, distinct difference there. Um, so this card was actually worth a little bit more. That's why I put it into its little slip. But over here, I've got a big list of um, different types of sets, different types of series. Um, there's some um, jungle cards there. There's some fossil cards in here as well. There's some base set, some base set two. Basically, every single one of these cards range from 1995, 96, all the way up to about 2000. I think 2003. 2003 might have been the latest year that we had. So they were all vintage Pokemon cards and there was 197 loose and then all of these cards were listed individually. And basically what happened was the lady said, hey, do you mind if we do a fairly reduced bulk price purchase? And I looked at these cards and I thought, look, I've basically sold all of the other cards last year for profit. Um, this is all leftover stock that I've literally only sourced the other day. I just looked through the old cards that I had, tried to put them into some form of an attractive bundle. Um, this set here alone, I listed up for $200. And she's ended up getting these extra five cards off me for the same price. So I gave her five extra cards and I sold this for the full asking price. So for me, it's $200. It's going to ship for the rate of a small satchel, $8.50. I'm going to put this into a box for her to make sure it's secure. Um, but a $200 sale price, pure profit. It's absolutely made the most of our sales day and rounds out the 12 sales that are going into the mailbag. Here's the 13th item that we're also putting into the mailbag. Need for Speed, uh, Most Wanted, a brand new sealed copy. And that one's going out to the White Tiger, who has joined as a channel member. I just love that name, White Tiger. Maybe we should call this YouTube channel The White Tiger. Um, so anyway, that one's gonna go out. We have a new prize draw for the members, Babylon 5. This one's going to go to someone next week. I'll be drawing it in next week's video. We've got season one to four. All you have to do is join as a channel member. You'll be in the draw to win this, which will hopefully get you almost a year's worth of free membership. We are so close to weekly live streams. Weekly live streams. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to doing it, but I need a few more just so there's enough people in the live stream to enjoy it and get value from it. So it's not just me with two other people. Um, so go ahead, join as a member. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I'm gonna leave you with another flea market video right here. We'll see you over there.